Welcome to this short video about getting started with the PMP provisioning engine in .NET Framework. I will directly focus my attention on the demo stuff, and so let me switch to my browser. Imagine that you have a modern theme site like this one, in which you created a custom document library, and in which you created a custom list with few custom fields. Moreover, let's say that you fully customize the home page of the modern site and you remove the out-of-the-box client-side web part and you added a list client-side web part to show the content of the custom list as well as on the right side a document library client-side web part to show the content of the custom document document library. Now imagine that this is a template that you want to use to create multiple site collections using the same information architecture and using the same outline of the home page. Now, assume also that you have another target site on top of which you want to apply the same information architecture and the same uh, uh, outline for the home page. Let me switch to Visual Studio and let me show you how you can do that using the PMP provisioning engine. First of all, here we have a console application, but it can be whatever you like. And under the references in the Manage New Get Packages UI, you can see that under the Installed Packages, we have the SharePoint PMP Core Online Library installed. We have an offering for SharePoint on-premises as well. 2013 and 2016 are the target environment for the on-premises version of the PMP Core Library. Once you have installed this package, you can simply create a client context object using the client side of the model of SharePoint Online. And here I'm using the credentials that I have in my credential manager to easily access my environment. And moreover, you can use the get provisioning template method, which is an extension method of any web object of CISOM to extract the information architecture and the outline of the home page and all of the settings of the site using the uh, PMP provisioning engine. To show you what is happening uh, while extracting the template, I am also using a provisioning template creation information object through which I can define a delegate which will be fired whenever there will be a message from the provisioning engine so that we will see step by step what will be done by the engine during the extraction of the template. Once the template has been extracted, we will have a domain model object in memory, which we can just use as is, or which we can store, we can save on a persistent environment, as like as I do in this demo, through which I save using the file system as my repository, an XML file, which will be called template.xml, in which I will store the content, the full content of the serialized template. Later on, I will be able to create a new client context object targeting the new target site, still using the same authentication technique. Using the provider, I will load back the template in memory. I can even customize some of the settings of my template in memory. And once I have a target web object, I can apply the provisioning template using yet another extension method that we have in PMP to apply a template onto a target website. And one more time, I have a provisioning template applying information object, which allows me to show you the progress uh, of the uh, application of my template onto the target site. So let me run the code and let's see what happens. So F5, we will have a console window popping up and step by step, we will see the extraction of the template. As you can see right now, we have 17 different steps that will be executed. All of them will extract some of the content from the source site. Right now, we are extracting the list instances from the site. And this is one of the uh, longer steps that we have uh, in the engine because it has to do a lot of stuff to extract the lists, the content types, the fields, and all of the settings of all of the custom lists created in the source site. Once the list instances extraction will be completed, we will have a few more steps. And then we will have a provisioning template ready to go in memory. As you can see, we extract the workflows, if any, we extract the web settings, we extract all of the information about the application lifecycle manager, and so on and so forth. Now, we have a template object in memory, which can be used as is in memory. And as you can see, we have a bunch of information in this item, including in the lists, a couple of lists, which will be the custom documents library and the custom list that we just saw in the browser. And we can store the template on the file system just using the provider. So let me continue with the code execution. Now let me wait for a, a, an enter to apply the template on the target environment. So let me do that. Let me press enter. 
And as you will see through the console window, we will see the application of the template onto the target environment. It will take a while to set up the authentication context. And now we are applying the template onto the target environment. One more time, we have a few steps that will be executed. Now we just have eight steps because are just the steps for what has to be applied, uh, for what has to be created on the target environment. And once the process will be completed, one more time, the list instances take a while, we will have the same information architecture on the target site as like as we had in the source site, as well as the customized home page. So matter of few seconds and we will be there. Tenant settings now, application lifecycle management, client side pages, web settings and navigation. And now we are done. And if I go back to my target site and if I refresh the home page of the site, we can see that we have a custom list and a custom documents client side web part in the home page, as well as the two custom uh, lists and libraries for our information architecture. Of course, we just extract and apply the information architecture. We don't move the content. And that's why in the source site you had uh, and you saw some items in the custom list and in the custom document library. And we don't have any item in the target site because we just recreated the same information architecture, but without any content, because we are not in the market of migrating content from one site to another. Let's say I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you will enjoy the PMP provisioning engine to extract and apply the information architecture of your sites.